So this painting, uh, uh, as well from Friedrich von Ameling, uh, Marie Freyein Vesk von uh, uh, Pücklingen. And uh, so uh, we can see uh, how he uh, painted the, uh, the friends of himself, because uh, uh, Pütlingen uh, was a composer in Vienna, uh, but he worked, he earned money as a lawyer. And uh, so he painted uh, not only uh, his wife, but as well the, uh, the children of, uh, of him. And uh, it's, it's, it's really important to talk about that uh, children and dogs and other uh, today as well very popular uh, topics uh, were painted in Biedermeier as well. Uh, and um, so what we uh, should call as uh, kitschig uh, today sometimes, it uh, comes uh, from Biedermeier also, that uh, uh, children and dogs and, and other nice and, and fluffy and clumsy things uh, are a part of everyday life. Uh, but uh, what we can see about this uh, portrait is the, is the uh, already uh, mentioned uh, characteristic of Biedermeier, uh, that uh, uh, the detailed uh, uh, face uh, of, of, of the, the woman and uh, the, the soft uh, uh, surface and shadows, uh, what uh, uh, was used by the, uh, the, the painter, by Ameling. And uh, um, it's really important that the English portrait painting had a big influence on, on the Biedermeier portrait painting because uh, the English portrait painting already began in the end of the 18th century, like uh, Joshua Reynolds um, or Thomas Rolanzon. And uh, so, but uh, the style of uh, the Biedermeier portraits are, are very different from the English, English ones.